Um, so I wanted to talk about the financing options. So once, once the budget is prepared, where do you get the money? Now, Steve has talked about some of these things, but I just want to go over uh, in a little bit more detail some of these so you understand sort of the, the background and the philosophy on these. Probably in your town in Hampton, I'm sure you've got lots of capital reserve funds, expendable trust funds, you've been bonding, you're doing all of these things. But just to have a little bit more background, what is the philosophy on the different ways to finance the budget that you're putting together. Um, so I'm going to go into a little bit more detail with these. I did want to talk to you about state aid um, and where we are with the state budget up to date. I was at the legislature until 2.30 today finding out exactly what the Senate was doing in terms of uh, revenues coming to cities and towns. So I wanted to cover a little bit of that with you because that obviously is going to affect you for the next two years as the state's um, developing their budget. And then um, the last thing I wanted to cover is a, a little bit about the property tax, the, the rate setting process as Steve said, and more importantly, that piece about how do you estimate how much something is going to cost on your budget, whether that's an increase or a decrease in revenue or an increase in appropriation or a decrease in appropriation. Some of you may know how to figure out that estimate. How much would $500,000 appropriation be on your tax rate? How much would $25,000 be? Some of you may know how to do that. I'm assuming not all of you know how to do it. but. When you leave here tonight, you will know how to estimate that. And um, I've been told by quite a few people that um, that was the most handy tool to have in my presentation, and that's why I keep it until the end. <laughs> so.